So let's go to the next step. I'm going to click on Explorer here and take a look at this Excel Data Bad 2. I'll double click on that. And it's had the uh, header removed, so the first row is the field titles. So it looks a lot better. So I'll go ahead and close that and let's import it. So I'll close it, go back to Access, and on the External Data tab, we'll click on Excel and browse to Excel Data Bad 2. I'll double click it and I'll click OK. And that looks way better than before. And now we can use the selection for first row contains column headings. So that's fine. We'll click on Next. And so now it's going to analyze the data. And we've got text fields here. We'll go across to uh, Order Date is a date field. That looks good. Uh, let me click over here. Unit Price is Currency. Quantity is a, a double, which is a, a large number. So that's fine. Okay, everything looks great. So we're not going to have any problems, right? I'll click on Next. And uh, Primary, I'm not going to add a primary key at this point. So I'll click on No Primary Key. And I'll click on Next. And uh, it's, I've already done this, so it's already got Excel data I've used as a name. You can type Excel data or use the default, whatever. I'll click on Finish, and it'll import into that table. So it's done, and I'll click on Close. I don't need to save those import steps. So let's take a look. Notice there is an Excel data table, but there's also something down here called Excel data import errors. So if I double click Excel data, looks looks great. But if I double click here, this is what usually happens. You have a type conversion failure. Access analyzed that column and said it was a date or a number, and then it found something that wasn't a date or a number. But the nice thing is it's telling us exactly where they are. So if I keep this open, I'm going to shrink my uh, pane here. And actually, why don't I shrink access a little bit. I'll go back here to Data Bad 2 again. I'll just double click it, open it up in Excel. And let me shrink Excel a little bit. So now we've got Access and Excel open. And I'm going to click on cell A2 and go to View on the menu and Freeze Panes. So I can, uh, and then I'll click Freeze Panes so that when I move down, I'll still be able to see what column I'm in. So it says order date, and let me move Excel over a little bit more. And let me change this so it's, there we go. That'll, that'll be better, like that. So I can see that it says uh, I've got a problem in order date on 12.208. So uh, I don't know what column that is, so I'm just going to press the F5 key. I've clicked back on A2 in Excel, and I'll press the F5 function key, and I'll go to A12208. And since I've got frozen panes, I can still see the column title. So I can move over to order date, and here it is. Oh, there's the problem right there. Somebody typed in a date that is not valid. And access, when you have a date field, it will not let you do that. Uh, it ac actually looks at what you're typing. And so uh, we need to put in, I'll just copy this from above. So that's one problem. And we know that the I column is the order date. So let's go, I'll press an F5 and we'll go to I12351. Same thing. February 31st doesn't exist. And let's do another one. I-12-775. doesn't exist. So maybe they meant 630-14. Something like that. So next I'll go to this order total. So I'll press F5 and go to, uh, I don't know which column it is, so I'll just type I again. 13 34 Let's go to the right. Uh, somehow somebody got a, a name in there. It's a formula. So 
uh, and these don't even look like they're formulas. So I'm just going to hit equal sign, left, left, plus sign, left, and press enter. So that'll replace that with a total. And then unit price. Unit price is over here in the L column, so I can do L13418. Ah, I've seen this many times. Somebody is flying along and they put in a comma instead of a period, and Excel will let you do that. So 495. That's probably what the other one is, too. So if we go uh, F5 and L13. 424. Yeah, I've seen this one too. Two decimal places. 1248. See, that's the problem. Excel will let you do this. And Excel is wonderful and flexible, but it's too flexible to be the base for where your data lives. It's great once you get everything into access because you can get data out and you can rely on it and send it over to Excel. And uh, you won't have little calls at the end of the month when you do reports by a manager that says, well, the totals are wrong. And so uh, it's just life is too short to have those kinds of problems. Let's do these last couple of things. It's, uh, what am I in, the O column? And 13754. Somebody put an NA for a zero, for zero freight. And we go to uh, N... 14,493. Actually, just before I do this, now I've got a fair sampling of errors here. I'm going to do a control home to go up to the top. And it looks like these last errors are in both in freight. So the other approach to doing this is to just go to the top and go data and sort. And a lot of times if you sort ascending and then sort descending, one way or the other, uh, the bad data is going to be on one end or the other. And so you can see that these are more NAs. And those commas uh, and extra decimal points, those would have all popped up also on the uh, top or the bottom. So that's another quick way to correct this data is just use a, a data sort. So this is correct now. I'm going to go ahead and save it and close it. Let me move... Uh, access back into the window here and I'm going to close this I don't need to save it and I'm going to delete both the Excel data and the uh, errors and I'm going to go right back and import again Excel data bad 2 everything looks great like it did before except this time it'll probably work I don't want any primary key, and I'll click Next, Excel Data, and Finish. Okay. Well, no, we still have an error. Let's click on Close. Only one. I only missed one. So that's not bad. So we can just clean that up and, and import it again. Okay, so you might think everything is done. Uh, but in the next lecture, the third one and final one in this section, we'll talk about the next step. See you in the next lecture.